Today we're going to be talking about temperate grasslands. The temperate grasslands are, lo are located in every continent except for Antarctica. There are two types of grasslands. One is the temperate grassland and the other one is the tropical grassland. Now today we're just only going to be talking about the temperate grassland. The temperate grassland is located in two zones. One in the northern hemisphere and the other in the southern hemisphere. Here, it would be located between the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of, Ar of Cancer. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it's located between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle. The reason why they call it temperate grasslands is because all the grasslands in the world are located in these uh, temperate zones. Temperate means warm or okayish. In this situation, it would be known as okayish weather or warm weather. Temperate grasslands are located in North America, South America, Africa, Eurasia, and Australia. Now, in each continent, um, they call the grassland by a different name. In North America, they call it as prairies. In South America, they call it as pampas. In, in Africa, they call it as veldts. And in the Eurasia, they call it as tepes. And in Australia, they call it as downs. Grasslands make up a fifth of the Earth's land surface. Also, grasslands are found in the middle of a continent. They are not near any oceans. The temperature in these uh, temperate grasslands would be, in the summer, it would be 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the winters, it would go as down, as low as negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, now, the, get, the temperate grasslands get somewhere between 10 to 30 inches of rainfall each year. And this basically, and to compare that amount of rainfall, it would be too much for the deserts and little for the rainforests, which means it's a suitable place for life. However, trees don't grow in the temperate grassland because there's not as much rainfall as the rainforest. Now, the soil in the temperate grasslands is, has a lot of humus and the soil is very fertile. So most crops and grass are able to grow in this area. Um, some human activities that are disturbing the temperate grasslands would be cultivation, where they're growing crops on the grassland and also creating ranches and farms. That is the reason only small amount of natural grassland is left and most of it has been turned into human use. Some habitats I can name are rabbits, deer, foxes, bison, and uh, grasshoppers. Most of these animals are herbivores because because the grassland is full of grass, most of these species have a special digestive spe like system where they're able to adapt with the grass around them. Fun fact is that the prairies or the grasslands in North America actually are called wheat baskets because of the amount of wheat crop they make and export to the rest of the world. So here's my temperate grassland diorama. As you can see, most of the animals in the diorama are herbivores because they have a special digestive system to so that they can eat the grass. Because not a lot of trees grow in the grasslands, um, in my diorama you see more grass than trees.